Having spent nearly 20 years riding around the race courses of Great Britain, I've seen firsthand how each of the 40 national hunt tracks are both respected and renowned for their individual features. From the unique figure of Ace at Fontwell to Trappy Trevor at Taunton, each one is equally dangerous, infamous, and spectacular. Throughout this series, we'll be visiting some of Britain's most idiosyncratic tracks and trying to pinpoint the areas that can be the difference between triumph and disaster. These are At The Race's Tricky Tracks. This here is the winning post at Plumpton Racecourse. I've been racing here since 1884. Now to the naked eye, this Sussex track looks pretty straightforward to ride. But on the way around, you've got to overcome a series of tricky obstacles, mostly on the chase course. This is the second lot. Oh, Lucy oh. Connolly took off too early and sprawled through the birch. Carol's Destrier running on truly here, and V-Neck's in trouble. Carol's Destrier fell, with not was slightly impeded, so too was V-Neck. It's in the jungle from Paddy the Yank, virtually on terms again, and in the jungle, pitches on landing, and the rider has performed miracles to keep the partnership intact. We're almost at the highest point of the course here at Plumpton, and it's right by the first fence in the two-mile one furlong chase. Now, this is an important part of the track, because once you've done a circuit, and you want to get yourself in a decent position so that you can get ready for that downhill run. But you don't want to be making too much ground up at this part of the track because this is a little bit of a long burster. Uh, the fence at the top of the hill can be the trickiest and then turn in as well. That They seem to catch most horses out. The hurdles are OK. You, you do get fallers because horses, they, when they come down the hill, they're just running out of their comfort zone a bit and just running on their heads. Um, you, and they can just have a step or something like that. But it's, it's been a good track to me just because I've probably had more rides here than any other jockey, you know. The first real test of Plumpton comes up as the second fence in the two mile one furlong chase. Why is it a test? Well, you meet it just off that bend. Now, this is the time to make your mind up. Have I got faith in my horse's ability to jump? If you have, you can give them a little squeeze down to here and open them up. If you haven't, you must just sit and hope you meet it on a nice one. Next sensation from Moreland's Jack. And then Rocky Elson, and Anjou is second last. And, and Should I Stay is gone at the second. Should I Stay is down there, slithered to the ground. Racing down the far side for a final time. Five fences left to take. Luxie Zandra jumps and travelled well. As they approach the first of three in the back straight. Uh, followed by JMB, who's gone there. JMB is the faller. Richard Johnson on the ground. The last fence down the back of Plumpton is a big ditch. Again, you've got a decision to make. Do I sit and jump this fence on the inside? Because that bend comes up very quickly when you land. You do not want to be having to pull out wide and go four wide around that bend. You're forfeiting an awful lot of ground. In an ideal world, you want to be sat just behind the leaders, pop this, fill your lungs, because once you turn into the straight, you've got that hill to climb again. As they approach the second, trip has Colonge, again, very exuberant. The thing that strikes you when you walk around Plumpton is it's quite a tight track. Those two tight bends mean you want to keep quite close to the inside. Champion jockey Tony McCoy, a prolific winner around here. Why? Because he keeps it simple. He knows going down the hill, you can make three or four lengths at one of those obstacles. You've got decisions to make, what horses to track. These are decisions you make before you leave the weighing room. But as we all know, things can change. And he looks as though he's floating to the last here. Regal Encore on the far side. Mistake from Saffron Prince. That surely put the seal on him. And McCoy on a very tight rein here on Regal Encore. Saffron Prince just trying hard to come back at him. But by a length and a half, Regal Encore comfortably sees him off. Final fence there, Uxie Zandra at the last. Steadied into it, popped over it nicely enough, and Uxie Zandra from Funny Star, the gap between them is 10 to 12 lengths. Plumpton, what's the best way to ride it? Well, it helps if you're on the best horse, but as AP McCoy says, keep it simple. <laughs> 